hey guys welcome to my video tutorial on advanced git so if you haven't watched my earlier videos on basic of git please watch that and proceed with this session so today we'll be talking specifically about reverse and merge and the interactive reverse so let's get started so to summarize the basic git workflow first we clone the remote repository into our local machine which can be a laptop or any other pc that has git installed and then we make modifications into the code and the first step is to stage the change with git add and then commit the change so till we commit the change the code still resides in our local repository then we finally use git push to push the code to the remote repository but let's say there are some modifications into the remote repository made by other developer or other team members and your local repository is out of sync then we use git pull to pull the latest code from the remote repository so that our local machine is in sync so this is the basic git workflow which will be useful in what we are going to discuss next so first let's talk about merge and reverse the goal of both merging and reversing is to take commits from the feature branch and put them to the master branch or any other branch for that matter so let's see how a normal merge would happen so let's say i have a graph like this and as you see i have a feature branch from the master so let's say i added a couple of features in this feature branch and i made two commits now i want to merge this change to the master so there are two options to do this so i can use git merge first so what git merge will do is it will take the feature branch changes and stuff them to one merge commit and put that merge commit into the master so after the changes are combined together into that one merge commit your graph will look something like this so let's say over the period of time you have like multiple branches and you have multiple commits and you merge all of those branches feature into the main master branch and over a period of time when there are like multiple commits then your graph will look more complex so instead of doing the git merge we can do a git reverse where we'll have the exact same feature branch let's say from the master branch and let's say we push two commits as well so this is basically the same scenario as we had in git merge so what reversing does is it takes all the commits from the feature branch and move those to the top of master commit so earlier in git merge you saw that it took all the feature branch changes and stopped them into one merge commit and put that merge commit into the master so what reversing did unlike in git merge is it duplicated them as a new commit on the top of master branch so in a sense it's rewriting the history so the difference or comparison between merge and reverse is that with the reverse approach we get a nice clean straight graph with all the commits that are laid out nicely in one line and it makes it easier to trace when we have a lot of multiple commits and multiple merges so with reversing we move the entirety of the branch to another point in and in this scenario if there are like larger number of commit and merges it will be difficult to look at and track so that's where the git reverse comes into play and let's say if you are on a team with lots of developer and if you have bunch of people working on the same project at the same time the git reverse will make it easier to follow commits so let's look at this real life workflow let's say you have a remote master with two commits and you use git pull to pull the code to your local workstation and you create a feature branch and you made a couple of changes to that branch as well so as you are working and committing to the local branch let's say other team members added some cool feature to the main branch and that means now your local branch is out of sync and it is behind the main master branch so let's say you are done with your feature in the local branch as well and you want to merge it to the master but remember your local master is out of sync with the remote master so first what you want to do is you want to check out the master first and then you want to use git pull so that your local master is in sync with the remote master now after your local master is in sync with the remote master you want to check out your test branch and then perform a rebase against the master now your feature branch also does not have any conflicts with the master and is up to date with the master so now you can check out the master and finally rebase the test branch so it will take all the commits of the feature branch and replay on the top of master branch so now your local master branch is cool and you are ready to push it to production so you can use a simple git push to push it to production so reversing in short is a process of moving or combining the sequence of commit to new base commit so now that we have understood the merging and reversing let's look into the interactive reverse so with reversing we moved all the commits from our feature branch to the main branch or the new base so instead of blindly moving all the commits to the new base interactive reversing gives you the opportunity to alter the individual commits in the process so that means 
it lets you clean up history by removing, splitting or altering the existing series of commits. So let's say you have multiple commits. Interactive rebase will allow you to manipulate your commit history. You can make any change to the old commit message. You can reorder them. You can combine multiple commits into one. You can reorder the commits, etc. So what's the use of interactive rebase? A good example would be that if you are done developing a feature branch, before you merge it back into the main team branch, you can optimize that so that you can have a clean commit structure so it's easier for other to understand so let's say you created a feature branch from the main branch but you used let's say 50 commits you don't want all 50 commits to go into the main branch because it will mess up with the commit logs so what you want to do is you want to combine all those 50 commits into one single commit message and then merge that branch into the master so rather than having those all 50 commits in the same branch you can have just one single commit in the same branch and merge it to the master that's what interactive rebase is supposed to do so the general workflow would be first you have to determine the range of commit you want to manipulate it does not mean that you have to manipulate and combine all the commits let's say to add a single feature you created three commits you can combine those three commits into one and for that next you have to start an interactive rebase session and once you get that interactive rebase session that's where you select if you want to reorder if you want to delete if you want to squash or if you want to reward or change the commit message so finally you can make the edits manipulate any selected number of commits so let's look into the git command line and work on interactive rebase so we'll basically do two things in this interactive rebase tutorial we will first change the old commit message we'll update the commit message entirely and next we'll combine two set of commits and push it as a single commit so here i'm in my feature branch the first thing that i want to do is i want to look at the logs and i have multiple series of commits so let's say i want to modify this fourth line so the first step in interactive rebasing is to choose the commit that you want to manipulate i chose this fourth line so the next step is to start an interactive rebase session so for this specific purpose i would use git rebase hyphen i for interactive so here you see that our head is pointed over here since we want to modify this fourth line we want to go head minus one head minus two head minus three and head minus four so four behind the head so i'm going to type four and now we see that we wanted to modify this line modified index.html. So here we have to pick a action keyword. So over here, you can see a series of action keyword that you can use with interactive rebase for updating or editing a commit message. The keyword is reward. So I am going to type in reward in the exact commit message that I want to change. And I'm going to exit and save this change. Now it gives me a second window. So new modified index.html. I want to save this now i want to do git log hyphen hyphen one line now we see that we modified our earlier message into a new message new modified index.html so let us do this once again so what we want to do is we want to check the log first so let's say we want to modify this combined to a.txt and testing.txt so i want to go head minus one two and three so three behind the head so what i want to do is i want to do git rebase I want to start interactive session head and one two and three since i'm trying to modify this line i want to go three behind the head and then i want to pick the action keyword as reward since i'm going to modify the file so i'm going to save it exit it it's going to give me a new prompt or new window where i can modify the change so let me change the combind to combined i change this commit message let me save it now if i do git log hyphen hyphen one line i should be able to see the changed commit message so i changed from combind to combined now let us look into another example of interactive rebase where we are going to combine the two commit messages so now i want to combine two commit messages so for that let me see one line so the first step in interactive rebase is to identify the range of commit you want to manipulate let's say i want to manipulate these two commit messages so i want to start a interactive rebase session with git rebase hyphen i head and with tilde i want to choose since my head is pointed to this git ignore i want to choose one behind the head two behind the head and three behind the head so that i would have a prompt with these three commit messages so if i type in three over here 
I should see a window with these three commit messages. Now, earlier we used the action keyword reward because we were trying to update or modify the commit message. But over here, we are not going to modify the message. Instead, we are combining the message. So since I'm going to combine two messages, I'm going to use this squash keyword. So squash works by combining the line we mark with the line above. So that means we need to put the squash keyword in here because it works by combining this line with the line above and these two are the commit messages that we want to combine so now i can save this message so as you see it prompted me a new window where i can comment on the other message and let's say i want to put new commit message new combined commit message combined commit message and i want to save this so now if i do git log hyphen hyphen one line I should see that my two commit messages earlier have been combined into a single combined message. So this is how you are supposed to use the interactive rebasing. But remember a simple rule that you should not be using interactive rebase on commits that you have already pushed or set to a remote repository. So instead of that, you should be using it for cleaning up your local commit history before merging it into the set team branch. So you see, if I want to merge this feature new test to the master branch, I would have these multiple commits and this would pollute my entire log history. So as you see, I have this feature new test and I have this entire series of commit messages that aren't pushed to the remote repository. So let's say rather than pushing these three messages and merging it into the main remote branch, what I want to do is I want to just have a single commit message after I'm done with the work. So I could use interactive rebase to combine all these three messages into one and push it to the main master branch. So in that way, your main master branch history will be clean. So this is it on the concept of merge and rebase and how to work with the interactive rebase. I'll be covering further more advanced series of Git commands in upcoming videos. Stay tuned. Thank you.